Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to the trade day results for our mini 24 hour trade day that I put up yesterday and holy shit, 782 offers. I assume the majority of them are for the uh, Eric Stahl November, which they are, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick a random one right now. I'm not even looking, I'm turning away, and you sir, Amber, you are the winner. There you go, get that one out of the way first and foremost, so there you go. So, we're gonna start off with the lowest guys first and then move on to the Jerus and the Tarasenko's of this trade day. So Jake Patterson actually got quite a few offers. I'm looking for around honestly like 10k. Uh, what do we got here? Clapperton likes boys. Okay, alright. Uh, you know, I'm not going to confirm or deny that. Uh, Gauthier in 7k. Um, Helm, Edler, Ribeiro. Sharp, Zuccarello, Palat. Uh, you know what? I like that trade. Sharp, Zuccarello, Palat. There you go. Enjoy your Jake Patterson, a uh, pretty rare card there. So I'm actually pretty hesitant now to get rid of my Claude Giroux Movember because he's one point away from 500 in his career. That's going to mean a milestone card. So the offer is really going to have to blow me away. Uh, let's start off here with the one of the lowest overalls. Let's go with Philip Forsberg here. So Max Pacioretty straight up. That's about 30k. That's not really the, the 70k that Philip Forsberg's worth. Uh, Jordan Stahl. Hosa and Yager in 15k. So just for argument's sake, let's say Stahl's 30k, which may be a bit of an exaggeration. That's like 35, it's like 40k plus 15. It's not that bad. It's like 55k. We'll keep it. Duclair in 30k. So Duclair could easily get a rookie team of the year card. I already have one. It's not a bad offer though. Johnson, Oshi, Mayo. No, not gonna happen. O'Reilly, Forsberg, Ekblad, 2k. No. Rick Nash, about 40, 50 K, not really quite there. Brad Boys, Bacchus, Landeskog, a bunch of low ball offers here. Uh, Seabrook, Wheeler, no. Okay, that's not a bad offer. Brock Nelson and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. So what I like about Philip Forsberg is that Nashville's probably going to be in the postseason so he can have a big playoff game, get a Stanley Cup card. Uh, it's a decent offer. Uh, where, I mean, where Edmonton and the Islanders, I mean, the Islanders might make it, but Edmonton's definitely not. Parise and Philip Forsberg, Okay, uh, John Klimberg, Max Pajaretti. I haven't seen a uh, Klimberg card in a long time, a Hockey Fights Cancer one. Uh, Dubnik, Provorov, and Brooks Orpik. Okay, not bad. Okay, Bergeron and 30K. Now, there's a decent trade. I think Bergeron's like 60K. Uh, that is definitely the front runner right now. Schneider and 15, Bacchus, Joe Thornton, a bunch of Movembers. Holy shit. So, Braden Shen's probably 15, 20, maybe even 30K now since he's 87. So, let's say 30k. Jones may never get an upgrade and I highly doubt Pavlik will. So they're like 10, 15k each. So let's say 30k for the both of them. 60 plus Kuznetsov is like uh, 20k. It's actually not that bad. Uh, Trocek, Joe Gattenby, baby. What a beast. Uh, and Luke Robitaille. Okay, so it's definitely between Robitaille and the Bergeron. I like the Bergeron trade, but I also like the Robitaille trade just for resale value because I'm going to keep on doing these in trade blocks. I'm definitely going to keep them up. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with the Bergeron and the 30k. Cash rules everything around me, says Wu-Tang, and I like Patrice Bergeron. If Bergeron's like 50k, that's still a pretty good deal. Enjoy your Philip Forsberg Movember. Let's actually check out what he is uh, worth, actually, because if he's like 60k, I will be stoked on that. Yeah, see, Bergeron's 56k. That's wicked. Uh, and yeah, that was really like a nothing trade. 1,000 coins for Palat. Really? Honestly? I think that was a good trade for both sides. Forsberg could get an upgrade come the playoffs. Uh, let's go with Tuka Rask, Movember here. Parise, Nash, Johansson, and 5,000 coins. So it's like 60, 70, 80 nuts. These like 100 and ish trade. Yeah, it's 100 and ish. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, Mayer, we're going to get out of there. Parise, Nash, Johansson. I don't like the Crawford. We'll get that out of here. But this one's not that bad. I'll keep it until the end. Maybe some guys will counter offer. Let's go for Big Z here. Big Zdeno Chara. So Johansson and Patch are ready. I'm going to say no to that. Because Chara is about 100k, 80 to 100k. Hall, Mantha, Padan, and 3k. Okay, I like that. Uh, Ghost and 10k. Okay. Ghost is bare and uh, 10,000 coins. I do like the Hall though. I like the Hall. I'm thinking he might be like 70k. For the next trade day, I think Hall is a more wanted player than Ghost. So I'm going to go ahead and take the haul 
Gasol, Mantha, Padan, and 3K. You can never go wrong with having a defensive Datsuk on your team. Uh, let's quickly see what Hall's worth. 83K, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, these two trades that we've made are pretty decent, not too bad so far. Uh, 76 offers left. I miss doing trade days, man. They're, they used to be so much fun. Uh, Milan Lucci, so I won't get into the big guns. Okay, so uh, Jet PRV and Forsberg. We get another Forsberg back. So I know Forsberg is around 70 to 80K, so I can get another Forsberg back. Uh, the Bruins probably won't be in the playoffs, uh, but Nashville might. So I like that deal. Okay. Uh, and Rick Nash and 20K, it's not really worth what Lucic is worth. Lucic is around 120 since he did get his uh, most recent upgrade. So I'm going to say no to that, although it's a pretty decent offer. Uh, Vander Kane, Cronwall, JVR, it's like that's like 30k max, so we'll say no to that one. Sean Monahan. Okay, all right. I'm thinking about the playoffs here because the season's almost over, so I'm thinking what players can get upgrades. Ooh, do Shane and 2K. So do we go with Forsberg? Get another one for my collection. Honestly, he's sat in my collection for the entire year. I think I pulled him in like November, and he's just chilled there for the entire year. Uh, Matt Duchesne and 2000. So Duchesne's probably if Duchesne's over 100k, that's a decent deal. Um. Uh, I like Movember cards. I like it. What am I doing here? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reject the Duchesne. I'm gonna wait if he uh, if he can counter offers or if anyone else can counter offers. I'm leaning more towards the Philip Forsberg. I don't think the Monaghan's gonna get another upgrade in the next 20 games. Who knows? He could. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave that one right there. Actually, what I didn't think is he could get a community team of the year. So, yeah. Hmm. Anyways, we'll just wait to see what's gonna happen there with uh, with the Forsberg. So now let's do, I guess we'll do Nathan McKinnon with 19 trades. So Tarasenko, boom, that's 180k. Uh, Vander Kane and Marlow. Okay, so 180 plus two 10k players. Um... That's about 200k, two, 200,069 coins to be exact. Uh, it's not a bad offer, not a bad offer at all. Uh, Johansson and Yossi, no thank you. Honestly, I know once McKinnon gets an upgrade, he's gonna be like a three, 400k in card. It's gonna be ridiculous. Uh, Ryan Murray, Bergeron, and 70k. So we know Bergeron is 60k, so that's 130 right there. Uh, plus Ryan Murray, not really what the 200, and, uh, 200 to 210 evaluation that I have for Nathan McKinnon. So we got Tarasenko in 18k. I think I'd much rather have this one with the two players, so we're gonna say no to that one. Uh, what else we got? Ooh, Yager in 40k. 90 Yager. Okay, alright. I'll definitely check it out. McKinnon, Pavelski, Carlson in 34k. No thank you. Uh, ooh, god, 89 Brent Burns. And you know what? There's no way he's over 200k. I'm gonna say no to that one. Uh, Tarasenko and Lindholm. I don't know if Lindholm's ever gonna get a uh, team of the week card or an upgrade, so I'm going to say no to that one. A lot of Tarasenko's in here. Steen, Ryan, Drysaddle, who's so good in this game, but I'm going to say no to that one. Um, ooh, team of the week, Duchesne, Rask, and Helm. I have no idea what Duchesne's worth. If he's like 150, that might not be, I don't know, I'll have to do a little price check on him. Truba, McKinnon, and Garbajowski, no thank you. So we upped his coins to 28k. Tarasenko and 28k for November Nathan McKinnon. Okay, this one is definitely now the front runner because again, cash rules everything around me. 28k is better than 20. Uh, Reinhardt, Jay Money, Dry Saddle, and Darnell Nurse. Couple of young guns there. Uh, we got not, okay, Gabriel Landeskog, Movember. Probably around the same, if not a little bit less. I'll keep it though. Uh, Pavel Datsuk. Oh my god, there's no way he's around 200k. I will have a look. I'll have a look. I'll definitely have to do some price checking. Druan, Linholm, and 15k. No thank you on that one. Uh, Kevin Shattenkirk Movember. No thank you. Uh, he's definitely not worth the 200k. Okay, we got John Scott, Hall, Bishop, and 100k. So, I know Hall and... Uh, oh, this might not be a bad offer, actually. Okay, so I know Hall is around 80k. So, 80 plus 100, obviously 180. Plus, John Scott's like 50k. Plus, Bishop's like 10, 15. Plus, McKinnon's like 20. So, that's a pretty good offer in itself. I like that one. 
Michael Ferland, get that shit out of here. Absolutely not. Uh, he upped it to 80k. He upped it. Uh, um, I don't know. Columbus definitely not going to be in the playoffs, so I'm going to say no to that one. I'm thinking about team of the years and stuff and playoff cards for Movembers to get upgrades. So 89 Bergeron, uh, Vander Kane, and Hoffman. Oh god, I'm definitely going to have to do some price checking here. 90 Hall. I already have the 91 Hall, and I know he's not even over 200k. Uh, so is that all the offers? Yeah, it's definitely all the offers. So I'm going to have to do some price checking here. I think I'm going to get rid of this Yager because I can tell it's not over 200k. So let me do some price checking and then I'll be right back for this McKinnon. Alright, so I did my price checking and okay, we got 195k straight up. I looked at McKinnon's last price sold as 225k. So I'm going to say no to that one. 90? Oh man, I'm going to say no because I know which trade offer I'm going to take. Definitely not going to be Abbott. It's not going to be Tarasenko. It's not going to be Landeskog. Although I like the Landeskog deal and their last price sold is honestly identical, like down to the T. I'm going to say no for that. I know once I get rid of this Nathan McKinnon Movember, probably going to get upgraded to like a 90, but uh, I'm going to get rid of the Datsuk. I'm going to get rid of this trade and I'm going to accept the Taylor Hall trade. So 86 John Scott is worth 80K. So right there's 180K plus the 80K Hall plus the 10K Bishop and plus the uh, the 20k Nathan McKinnon. So that's a great offer. Uh, there is no 89 Duchesne's on the market and the 90 was only worth 200. So that is a absolutely fantastic trade for me. I'm going to add all this up and tell you guys how much that trade really was. So if we're going just by last price solds here, uh, the last price sold November McKinnon was 225k and that trade was just under 300,000 at 299,050 coins. So that's a good trade. He may get an upgrade. I may uh, I may shoot myself in the foot with that trade, but I'm happy with what we got, especially for the next trade day. So Tuka Rask, a few more offers. Crawford and 57. Ernie, uh, you know what? I'm going to take the Crawford and 57. Crawford, 91 Crawford might be worth like 60K, 70K. I have no idea. Uh, let's go ahead and check that out. 91. He's worth 95K. Holy shit. Yeah, that was a really good deal. Uh, thank you for that. Holy crap. Okay. And if you guys think I'm making a terrible deal, please, by all means, let me know in the comments. I really want to know what you guys think. Uh, Mayor, no. Verbata, Monaghan. I like the Forsberg. Uh, I'll keep it till the end. If there's no other trades, I guess I'll take the Forsberg and have him sit in my collection. Now let's go to the big guns. Big Claude Giroux, baby. So Johnny Hockey, Johnny Goudreau, and Joe Pavelski. So uh, Johnny Goudreau is around 300. Uh, and Pavelski, I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to say no to that one. Uh, what else we got? Datsuk, I know is 200k. JVR shut down for the entire year. Plus 41k. Not happening. I'm looking for about 500k out of Claude Giroux. So Landeskog and Nash. That's not a bad deal. Nash, uh, Nash and Landeskog. So I know Landeskog is 225k. I'll have to look up what Rick Nash Movember goes for. I'm going to write that down really quickly. That's actually not a bad trade at all. Uh, Marlo, Zach Parise and Stafford, not even close. Sorry, Chief. Uh, Eichel, Larkin, McDavid, and Ghost. A bunch of young guys. I like that. A bunch of Calder nominees. Uh, Goudreau, Kessel, Petrangelo. Not looking for a Johnny Hockey. I hate playing with him. He's so, so small. He just gets absolutely rocked. Stastny, absolutely not. Provorov, get out of here. Uh, Carter, Bishop, Duchesne, Petrangelo. Not quite worth the 500k. Uh, TJ Hensick, looks like a crackhead. Uh, Movember, Sedin, uh, Lindholm, not not really worth it at all. I like the players, but no thank you. Varlamov, just troll trades at this point. Okay, Eric Carlson, only worth like 220k, so that's not quite worth it. I guess I kind of forgot to tell you what I was looking for for each card, so in the next time, I'll tell you guys the last price souls and kind of what I'm expecting. Eberle, Lindholm, nope, not happening. Uh, Datsuk, Keith, and uh, okay, Datsuk, Keith, and 13k, so Datsuk's 200k. You know what, Keith's not like 300k, so it's not worth it for me. Me. I know Jeru is going to get a fat upgrade pretty quick. Oh shit, Danny Heatley and 30k. Okay, I got to look up what heaters were. Got Ribeiro, Forsberg, Morgan Riley. No thank you. Uh, Anderson, Sedin, Jeru, and Van Riemsdyk. Anderson's about 100. That's 200 with uh, Henrik. 270 with Jeru. And uh, JBR is not doing anything for the rest of the year. Uh, 94 Lundqvist. Probably won't be over 300k. Plus the 25k. No thank you. Uh, what else we got here? 
Tetzlaff, 65K, Chara, Palmaville, Crawford. They're all pretty decent offers, but really just not uh, not up to the last price sold of Big Claw Giroux. So Larkin straight to Foley and 20K. So there's really only two real offers here. Let me do some price checking and I'll be right back. Oh man, I really don't know what to do with this Giroux. I think I'm honestly gonna reject them both because Nash is only 200K, Landeskog is 225, so that's only 425K. Last price sold, Giroux is around 500, and he's gonna get an upgrade in the next week once he comes back from injury. So I'm gonna say no to that one, although I really like the Nash, and actually Heatley is only worth like uh, like uh, 300K. So I'm gonna say no to that one. Uh, Giroux might have to stay. So let's move on here to Lucic. He has one more. Mayer, you know what? I'm just going to take that one. There you go. Philip Forsberg back in the collection. Enjoy your Milan Lucic. We got two offers left. PK Subban. We got Big E, the big Eric Lindros, Max Domi, and TJ Brody. Nope, not happening. I'm looking for about 350 to 400, maybe even above 400k. Uh, John Scott, no thank you. Rask and Henrik Sedin, it's only about 200k. No thank you. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that guy's name. Uh, Subban, Falk, and 100k. So I can't see Falk being over 100k. Uh, if he was, this deal would be somewhat worth it because I assume PK Subban is still around like 80k. Uh, it's not really that even good, so I'm going to say no to that one. Uh, Anti Ranta and who else we got here? Uh, and the last one, we got Alex Killorn. So we're going to say no to all those offers. Maybe some last minute ones will come in, but uh, I'm going to say no to that one. So now to the big fish. Vladimir Tarasenko. We got Everly, Eichel, Larkin, Straight. No, thank you. Uh, we got Kopitar, McDonough, Schwartz, and 13k. Not even close. Uh, Giroux again. Okay, so this could be a good investment for me because I know for a fact Giroux is going to get an upgrade. Oh, man. Okay. So, so the Flyers might not be in the playoffs, but I know that the Blues probably will. Um, Paul's 100k. Bergeron, 60. It's 100 60 plus Hedman's probably around 50. Oh man, so that's around a 700k trade. I like it, I don't love it. 420 coins, we're gonna say no. 91 P Kane. Oh man, I've wanted to try out a Team of the Week Kane for a long, long, long time. That's definitely the leading offer right now. Uh, Klimberg, 200k. Verbata, uh, 50k. Goudreau, 300. So that's 3, 4, 5. It's really close. It's not quite there though. I know once Tarasenko gets another upgrade. He's going to be worth a million at least. Uh, look at that change team. That looks weird. Kucherov, Helm, Klimberg. Nope. Uh, what else we got? Corey Perry, Movember. I can't see him being over 500k, so I'm going to say no to that one. I think what I'm going to do for next trade day is not have so many high-end players. Oh, shit. Okay. Team of, uh, sorry, Movember, PK Subban. All right. Uh, Kessel, Wheeler, Duclair. Kessel's like 300. Wheeler's like, Wheeler's probably going to get a team of the year card, but I like Tarasenko. No Oh, thank you for that. Uh, what else we got here? Paul Walker Brum Brum. Paul Walker Brum Brum. That is hilarious. You are a genius, my friend. Uh, that is absolutely genius because obviously Paul Walker was in the Need for Speed movies. Brum Brum. That is abs. I gotta take a picture of that. You are a genius. That's hilarious. But we're gonna say no to that one. Uh, what else we got here? Zach Cassian. So it's really between two offers. I don't know what P. Kane goes for. I'll have to check, but oh man, I don't know. I don't know. We got two offers. I feel like I should accept one at least because like our big three fish didn't get a uh, didn't get a big trade offer. But I'll check what they're worth, and if it doesn't add up, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm definitely not going to cheap out on that Tarasenko because that is just he's too good. Honestly, he's too good. He's going to get a team of the year, but that 91 Kane really entices. So unfortunately, guys, I looked it up. P. Kane there. There's no 91 canes on the market, but the 94 cane last price sold was 900k. So really, if even Kane was like 600k, this trade wouldn't even be worth it. And the Movember PK Subban is only worth 550k. So I'm gonna say no to all of those guys. So unfortunately, we don't get rid of the big three fish in there, but we did accept quite a few other trades. Uh, I'll quickly go ahead and show you guys the inbox. All these players will be in the next trade day, probably up in the next couple days. So you got Hall, Bergeron. Crawford. Uh, who else we got here? Bishop, Scott. Uh, it's going to be a nice little trade day, plus I'll add a few things in there. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if I made any terrible moves, if I should have accepted any trades. Uh, let me know, and I will see you in the next trade day.